forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit you. In today's video, Shiba Inu has been exploding and it literally just exploded right now. If I go ahead and get my price channel, I'm going to show you guys something absolutely crazy. And this is why, okay, I think you guys should definitely be on my Patreon. Now, I don't usually say that, but I definitely think it's beneficial because that is a 30% move, okay? 30 to 40% easy gain that you guys could have had. So look at this, okay? Look at the chart that I posted a week ago, okay? I posted this chart basically a week ago and I said, okay, on the November the 24th, okay, six days ago, I said, new chart, the last bull case, I think this chart shows the last final lows for Shiba Inu. I said, okay, that on November the 24th, you guys can see, this is the last reversal area, meaning that Shiba Inu, you buy in this area and it's going to reverse up and outwards. And as you guys can see, when we click play, on the chart, you guys can see that in that area, that is exactly where Shiba Inu had its last reversal area. And I was talking about this in yesterday's video. Also, guys, on the Patreon, okay, look at what I said. Look at what I said, guys, okay? Look at what I said here. I said, okay, so far, the Shiba Inu charts, we can see Shiba Inu is close to a bottom. A relief rally is going to happen, okay? As you guys can see, Shiba Inu will hit 35 to 36 cents. Then it's going to hit 42 to 42 cents, then 51 cents. So I said, currently, right now, this was November 29th, okay? So this was yesterday, okay, at 9 a.m. I was saying, you know what, guys, I'm now starting to buy in dollar cost averaging in at 39 cents. OK, so Shiba Inu should start this relief rally. OK, as you guys can see right now, 39, 36 cents. I'm buying in and we're going to hit 42 cents, then 51 cents. And what happened, guys? You guys can see that that exactly happened. OK, currently we hit that 44 cent level, as you guys can see right there. If we go on like the one hourly chart, you guys can see the first resistance came around 42 cents. 42 cents. Look at that, guys. The first resistance came 42 cents. Then second resistance came 44 cents, 44 cents. Now we are at right now, guys, 51 cents. Exactly. 51 cents, guys. The price targets were, it were like literally perfect, guys. That is a literal perfect prediction on Shiba Inu, guys. Um, and it's what's crazy as well is that so many of you managed to... Um, you know, actually get this move. And I'm so surprised. Well, I'm not really surprised that this was predicted because like I said to you guys, it was basically looking very, very similar to Dogecoin. Okay. As you guys can see, Super Inu is following very similar signs as Dogecoin before it did a 100% relief rally. And I think the lowest level here is 35 to 36, which is what we did hit guys. So it shows, okay, that that chart is definitely holding up guys. So as you guys can see right now, we have a situation on our hands where Shiba Inu has done this major, major rally guys. Now, Many people right now have the question on will Shiba Inu push higher, okay? Now, if you're wondering also what actually caused this major, major Shiba Inu rally, I'm going to tell you guys, okay? So, there are three main reasons, okay? Number one is that we were in a big downtrend, okay? And here's the thing what I said, okay? After this downtrend, you have to understand that crypto is a game where people need to lose money, okay? Um, and I don't mean that like I want you guys to lose money. You have to understand that cryptocurrency, I, I do believe it's a zero-sum game, meaning that, you know, 99% of people, okay, literally... 99% of people, guys, will lose money, okay? And then there's that 1%, okay, 1% to 3% of people that make all the money. So I was looking at this chart and I was like, okay, when we look at things, okay, we can see that we went all the way up here, then we went all the way back down. So all the gains after this move from this level to here, they were sacrificed, guys, meaning that the gains were just gone. The gains were just completely gone. Like these gains were evaporated. So all of these gains were just like whoever, whoever bought here, like if they held, they would have made no money. So I was like, you know what? Right now is the lowest risk time, which is why I said currently I'm dollar cost averaging starting now 39 to 36 cents. As you guys can see, 39 to 36 cents. Beautiful, beautiful ranging. Um, just beautiful. And as you guys can see, like literally hit the price target exactly. So currently, guys, that is the first reason why, okay? Because, you know, um, you know, of course, the people that lost their money. Second, of course, this is a falling wedge, okay? And because this is a falling wedge, we know that falling wedges, they break up, okay? And I did also post another chart. I posted another chart to the, um, you guys can see right there. Um, someone asked me saying, you know, what is the max price for this relief rally can take us? Good point of exit. And I was saying 44, then 42. Uh, and, you know, those are the first areas you want to take profit. Then 51 cents is probably going to be a good area to take profit. So as you guys can see right now, of course, this is something that many people did manage to catch on the Discord. Okay, this is where I'm, you know, posting all the charts. And as you guys can see, some people actually did manage to buy this area. I added this weekend at around 38. I added same here at 37. So you guys can see, okay, that currently, okay, there are a lot of people, okay, that are actually, you know, following some of the moves that we do post okay and of, of course as you guys can see it's definitely really profitable now we're in a situation okay where right now shiba inu has had that major move up guys and i do believe okay that currently as you guys can see right here the 51 cents of resistance will act as major resistance now of course anything can happen guys literally 
anything can happen, okay? And I can't be the one to say, okay, this is going to happen, that is going to happen. I just try to look at the charts and I try to say with what kind of, you know, percentage and probability will this, you know, take, okay? And I just try to be reasonable and I don't try to be greedy. I try to always be impartial, guys. Um, on, on, you know, when, when looking at things. So currently, guys, we have ourselves a situation where Shiba Inu is pumping hard, okay? As you guys can see on CoinMarketCap, if you go on CoinMarketCap, Shiba Inu, let me just revert. Yeah, these guys can see 27% pump. Very, very nice, of course, as you guys can see, because Bitcoin is now stabled, basically moving sideways, which is basically altcoin season. So, of course, you know, altcoins are going to be pumping again. And currently, guys, we're in a situation right now where we knew what is going to happen. And I, like I said, guys, right next, okay, the next major move for Shiba Inu, guys, as you guys can see right there at the 51 cents resistance, guys, literally picture perfect, guys. You guys should be on the Patreon if you aren't already. I mean, if you guys can't afford it, it's absolutely fine. I will just keep making the free videos for you guys. But here is the insane thing about this, okay? Here is the insane thing. Right now, we have a situation where currently we still could pump to 63, 62 cents. Could, okay? But I just, I, I'm, I'm leaning on the side that this won't happen simply because of what happened with Dogecoin. And I can show you what happened with Dogecoin previously, okay? And I do need to make a video about that. Um, let me go here, as you guys can see. And I was even talking about this in my previous video. As you guys can see, Dogecoin. Dogecoin broke out of a major, major downtrend. So Dogecoin is literally on its way back up anyways. So Dogecoin is likely to head back up. I mean, realistically, it, it could just, you know, fall off and come back down. But this was truly the bottom here for Dogecoin because, um, you know, um, back in the day, we had these levels. Now, this is the Dogecoin video. But the reason I'm saying is that, like, when Dogecoin came out of this downtrend, it went up to, like, a midpoint, as you guys can see right there. Um, if I can just get rid of all these stuff. Um, let me just get rid of this. As you guys can see right here, let me just remove this and this. As you guys can see right here, it rallied up to like a midpoint and then came back down and rallied up to that same midpoint again and then went back down. So I'm thinking, is Shiba Inu going to rally, rally up all the way? It might just rally up to this midpoint and then come back down and then do the same thing again, guys. So with me, um, so far right now on Shiba Inu, guys, am I expecting higher highs in the short term? Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, um, you know, I've been telling my people on the Patreon, this is where exactly where you want to take profit. Would I be FOMOing now? Would I be buying in Shiba Inu? No, I told you guys I was buying in yesterday at these levels. So, um, to be honest with you guys, okay, this is why I post, you know, my levels. And some people wonder why I don't always, I don't post every single buy every single day because, guys, timing is always important. And I always do believe that there are better times to buy others. Remember, guys, if you've been watching the channel, I've been telling you guys I was selling at around. I think one of these two areas I sold, I think I sold here and I told you guys, okay. And I told you guys on the Patreon that there's what I was buying in. And I did tell you guys, and yes, major signal did just flash. As you guys can see, a major signal did just flash. So at the end of the day, right now, guys, we have a situation where Shiba Inu is going to do what it's going to do. Um, you never know. Shiba Inu realistically could just take another pump right now. I'm going to be watching to see if my prediction does hold up because this pump is definitely very good. And you have to also remember that this pump did also start because of another factor, which actually did list Shiba Inu. So as you guys can see right now, trading is live on November 30th. So so yeah, this is what you call, okay, uh, just, this is what I say, guys, okay, and I know this might sound like a conspiracy theory, but I do believe that the markets are manipulated, okay, and I do believe that there has been time and time again, when I'm looking at the charts, guys, you don't understand, okay, when I'm looking at the charts and when I'm looking at, like, picture-perfect moments, okay, it has happened time and time again, where every single time there's supposed to be a breakout, there's some kind of news, there's some kind of external event which happens, which causes the price to break out, guys, and it's almost like, you know, we could have predicted something crazy was going to happen on this date, which is why I had it on the chart. Um, and of course, this influx of volume pushed cheap out of this move. Guys, I don't even remember what I was saying, but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch to see the next, you know, kind of action for Shiba Inu. Currently, I believe, okay, you know, based on the fact that we had this orange line right here and we broke through it, I do believe that now, most likely, we're just going to come down and do this as a support. So I would say that most likely Shiba Inu right now probably drops from this level, comes down to 45 cents, and we start holding this as support. Whether or not that further starts the uptrend, I don't know, but without further ado, guys, um, it's been the finance value guy. I'll see you guys in the next video.